All right, so we're talking, then we check your understanding for topic 8.1, which is average value of a function, which is basically the area under the curve divided by the width from the distance from A to B. So that actually makes more sense to me than all the stuff we talked about. Um, it's average. So if we think about average rate of change and what this becomes, which is the at capital F of X, right? The antiderivative of F. And I'll explain it in just a second, but no, let's see what we can do. Chipotle is BOGO burritos, which means buy one, get one. Burritos are teacher appreciation day if you're willing to stand in the line. On this particular area, the number of people waiting in line is modeled by W of T, where T is measured in hours since Chipotle opened at 11. Write an integral expression that would give the average number of people waiting in line at Chipotle from noon to 6. Okay. So W of T. DT, that part's simple. We're going to do an interval. My endpoints, so we opened at 11, so W of T, T equals 0 is 11 o'clock. Okay. So what we're going from noon to 6, that means we're going from noon, which is 1 hour past when they opened, to 6, which is 7 hours past when they opened. And then we're going to divide, multiply by a fraction or divide by 7 minus 1. Like so. That's it. Average number of people waiting in line. Simple, huh? I can rewrite that as 1 sixth, but I don't need to. Which makes sense because it's been 6 hours, right? Done. Next. Find the average of the value of this function on the interval. Okay, so we're going to go from 1 to 3 of our function g of x, which I'm going to go ahead and put in here. It's and average value means 1 over 3 minus 1. Okay, that's equal to 1 half. antiderivative. So the antiderivative of 3 of e to the 3x minus 3 is e to the 3x minus 3 times the divided by the derivative of the like the chain rule thing here. So if we, that was you, we'd have one third here. We had to insert minus 2x squared evaluated from 1 to 3 sure how he writes about. I don't like using the parentheses for the same thing, but anyway. And so just cleaning that up to the point where I need to stop for the AP test. Plug in 3. 1 third e to the 9 minus 3, so 6. Or you can just write. So I can write 6. Or 3 times 3 minus 3. I'm going to write 6 because it takes up less space. Minus 2 times 3 squared, which is 9. I'm going to write 9. Minus, so I need to maybe put parentheses around that whole expression. Um, plugging in 1. So 3 times 1 minus 3, that's 0. So that's just going to be e to the 1, or e. Or e to the 0, excuse me. e to the 0 is equal to 1. So I'm going to have 1 third. Then when I plug in 1 here, I'll just end up with minus 2. Well done. Let's go around the top. And honestly, this is even too far. Because... I went, and you know, I mean, I'm fairly confident in my ability to simplify that to six and this to nine, you know, whatever. But you don't have to, okay? Just a little bit. Okay.
The temperature of water in a bathtub is given by W of T, a strictly increasing differentiable function. So since it's differentiable, it is continuous, which means I can do these things. Okay. Okay. So it says to use a trapezoidal sum to approximate the average value of the function. Okay, so 1 over 20 from 0 to 20 of W of T V T. Now I don't need to write that down. I need to write down the trapezoidal sum. So 1 over 20, parentheses, trapezoidal sum. So this one is 4 white. Um, trapezoidal, 1 half, 4 wide times um, 57.1 plus 55 plus 1 half, and this one is 5, from 0 to 5, 9 is 5, parentheses, um, 61.8 plus 57.1 plus one half times this one from 9 to 15 is 6. 67.9 plus 61.8 plus one half. This one is five wide. 71 minus 60, I mean plus, excuse me, 67.9. That's done. It's my answer. I'm stopping. But because some of us have to go all the way, we can't handle stopping. That's the answer. It's the answer. But I am going to go ahead and let my calculator crunch away from me for a minute. So 1 over 20. One over 20. Parentheses. Half of 4 is 2. 57.1. Plus 55 plus parentheses plus 5 over half of 5 is 2.5, or I can just write 5 over 2. 2.5, so parentheses 61.8 plus oops, plus 57.1 plus parentheses plus half of 6 is 3. Parentheses 67.9 plus 61.8 close parentheses plus half of 5 again, which was 2.5 parentheses 71 plus 67.9 close parentheses close parentheses 62.89. And there's no decimals because there's nothing here. My calculator set up so like you can see on the previous problem, it's gonna take it out all the way, all the decimals. So that is a good answer. So that's equal to 62.89. All right. Using proper units, interpret your answer. Let's read this. I didn't read it. I just went to trapezoid so some. Temperature of water in a bathtub given by W of T, a strictly increasing differentiable function. So temperature of water in the bathtub. What is this? You'll notice that some numbers are higher, actually only two numbers are higher, and the other numbers are lower, but this is in the middle-ish. So the average temperature of the water in the bathtub between 0 and 20 minutes the 
you can also say instead of this, the first 20 minutes, instead of between 0 and 10, right, is approximately. Sixty-two degrees. Why is it approximately? Because we use a trapezoidal sum. If this was regular integral, we would have just said is. And the other thing you can do is is approximately. You can if you didn't evaluate this, you can write it down again. Or if you claim this is equal to that, you could just say that instead of this number. So if you can't figure this out, you can still say the average temperature of the water in between the bathtub is the answer I got for part A, and just put this down. Even if you didn't get an answer, you can still interpret the answer. Okay, and that's that. I'll see you guys soon on another video.